Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal. I am a marketing consultant based in Jerusalem, work with a lot of tech companies, uh, big fan of technology myself in general. So um, I thought I'd put together um, a video here, just kind of offering some tips and tricks, if you will, uh, for people who are um, looking to live in Israel, whether that is full-time um, Aliyah under the law of return, or you are looking at spending a summer in Israel. And one of your questions is probably going to be, well, in terms of phone connectivity. So uh, what's the deal? Can I bring my existing phone? Should I buy one here? <clears throat> um, and um, or should I buy one in Israel? Now, if you buy one in Israel, um, then it's probably going to work in Israel in some respect, uh, but it's not guaranteed to work with the network. Uh, it probably will. And there probably will be someone in the phone store who will know enough to be able to look it up for you, but um, if you wanna buy abroad and that can be cheaper, um, then you can do this kind of research yourself. Now, I'm not gonna go into um, the importing wireless equipment to Israel and just remember that a phone can fall under that category. Um, I'm not gonna talk about um, tax issues and customs issues. Those are separate questions for people that really know those fields. Uh, but I'm just gonna try to provide, hopefully, info that will be helpful in terms of um, if it will work. That's really what most people want to know. So um, what will determine if what will it work? And that's basically for most people, especially if you're looking for an Android device, um, you're going to be looking at the frequencies the phone has. <clears throat> so phones have radios in them and the radio will uh, receive certain frequencies. Now, over the years, um, this has become, I would say, better. More phones are being built with more frequencies and uh, this, this is becoming less of a problem. Nevertheless, it is good practice if you're buying a phone from the internet, um, you know, just to do a quick check, uh, especially if you're buying from somewhere like AliExpress. So um, I just Googled on Ali um, the smartphone Android uh, just to try to find, you know, the kind of first thing um, that would appear here, uh, something like completely random and AliExpress as usual uh, did not disappoint. So I just went through and just grabbed at a random phone that was not, you know, uh, super, super cheap, but you know, something that maybe people would look at. So let's take the Blackview BL5000 dual 5G smartphone. Ah, nice. So this is actually a better one to choose because of the fact that it has 5G. Now 5G has started rolling out in Israel um, and um, it's a lot quicker, obviously. So the same, but it doesn't really matter if you have 4G, 5G, you're gonna be going through the same process. Now what you wanna do on any phone is look up the specs. So <clears throat> on AliExpress itself, they'll typically have these because people are checking. So you can see network. So look for network, look for 3G, look for 4G, look for 5G, and you can see this section. I'm gonna put myself down a little bit here. Um, now you can see, hopefully now, network. 4G frequencies, B1, B2, B3, um, all these different frequencies. You can see the 3D free, three, three G frequencies for WCDMA, and you can see even the 2G frequencies. If uh, I don't know if anyone actually really uses that anymore. Um, and you can see the 5G uh, frequencies up there as well. Um, so now what you wanna see is the next part of the puzzle is what frequencies does my uh, phone company transmit over on the plan I'm thinking of taking out, okay? So uh, go on to, you can do it this way. There is There are these frequency lookup websites where you can go like, what was this thing called? Blackview BL5000. Blackview BL5000. Has frequencycheck.com ever heard of the Blackview BL5000? Um, with the more obscure phones, you might have less success um, versus searching for something like the Redmi, Redmi Note 7. <clears throat> you might have more success. Um, uh, here we go, just take one. Now you need to be really careful when you're doing all this stuff to make sure you're looking at the exact model you're looking at buying or you have bought. Um, that's so, yeah, just be, just be careful. So you have these websites that will uh, list what frequencies are supported, um, but you know because it's Israel and Israel is 
a small country and everything is kind of specific here, I would trust more going to like Israeli sources. Um, so I have pulled up here a Wikipedia article saying Tikshoret Cellularit Bisrael and uh, they will give you um, frequencies. Now, Tadraya Cellular means the cellular networks, and you can see who's using what. Now, in Israel, as in the world, you have um, two distinct um, types of phone company. You have the Israeli market went through a kind of competition liberating process a number of years ago that really reduced prices and was good for consumers. Um, so uh, you have now MNOs. This is way too small to be able to show up in the video. Which are um, mobile network operators and you have uh, MVNOs which are um, mobile virtual network operators. Now, what this means is that you have um, a few companies, bigger companies who operate their own infrastructure and then you have these kind of smaller companies typically that um, lease bandwidth from the MNOs and resell it to customers. Now, the reason I'm mentioning this is because, well, you might know what, um, you might know what Golan uses if you know that a company is a um, MVNO of a VNO. So let's say Golan, I think is, is used as Cellcom. So Golan is MVNO of Cellcom. So you can be reasonably sure, but still worth checking. Therefore, Golan probably uses the same <coughs> bands as Cellcom. And so that's just something to know, right? Um, you can save yourself a bit of digging typically. But in any event, um, there is this lookup table here that you can check and you can see on Wikipedia who's using what. So we can see here Cellcom, Golan and Wii4G. By the way, I recommend Wii4G. Good company, and you can see Dor Steim, which is G2, Dor Shalosh is 3G, Dor Arba is a 4G LTE, and Dor Hamesh is a, the newer one, a 5G. And you can see what bands each company uses, and you can see why this matters because different companies and different MVNOs are operating over deep, different frequency bands. Um, so let's say we wanted to use our Blackview BL5000 with. Golan Telecom. So um, I'm just going to change this. The relevant info here would be the network uh, 4G. So you can see B3 is one of its supported frequencies. Um, and you can see that um, Cellcom, Golan, and we 4 g all use uh, B3, which is 1800 megahertz. Um, but Partner, Hot Mobile, 0112, 019, Next Mobile, and all these companies do not. So it probably would still work because they, they use B1 and B5, um, B1, B5, and B8. So we have here B1, B5, and B8. So this particular Android would probably work for 4G for every phone provider in the country, um, but that's nevertheless how you sort of check it out. Um, if we wanted to look at the 5G bands are up here, um, we 4 g Golan and Cellcom all use N78, which I think is 3800 megahertz. Um, and um, N78 is one of the 5G bands that the 5G um, antenna on this phone can pick up, uh, so should be good on that front too. Uh, now, this is obviously you're relying here on, you know, uh, secondhand info from Wikipedia, which is after all maintained by amateurs. So if you really want to do this um, sort of in a more, uh, let's say, scientific what you might want to do is just write to the companies in Hebrew probably and ask them to just verify that the data that you're seeing on their website or a third party website regarding the frequency bands they use is accurate but uh, it shouldn't be much more complicated than that other things that could go wrong look for an unlocked phone um, so that you can just get a sim card and pop it in i don't know if they do these deals in israel that you get a phone and you pay it off through a bill pay plan um, i've always just had a connectivity plan therefore i've always brought my own unlocked phones to the network um, final thing to say is check out what sim card that the network provides i've just broken a 4g router 
by uh, being lazy and not checking firstly exactly what SIM card it needed, putting in the wrong kind, and you don't wanna do that uh, because stuff can get stuck um, in devices and that is never fun to waste to see 50 or $100 go down the drain because you try to put in the wrong SIM card. So that's basically it. Number one, check what frequencies a phone uh, supports. Number two, check if it's unlocked or locked. Um, and number three, check what frequencies that your phone provider uses. So to use my elaborate prop setup here, you know that the transmissions from the phone company can be received by the phone unlocked, right size a SIM card, and you should be pretty much good to go. And then you just need to find a, um, find a phone plan that suits yourself. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this uh, short video was informative and perhaps even useful for somebody looking to move to Israel. Um, this is my opinion and knowledge and of course double check and verify everything and don't rely on this um, if uh, for some reason this all goes horribly wrong and you find your phone doesn't work but uh, should provide a good starting point for the research process. Thank you guys for watching.